How's it going everyone and welcome back to the Unclave. So today we are going to be doing the Lee Bold Buster review. So basically when you purchase it this is what you're going to get. It's pretty much a red tub that doesn't stay stuck to the die that gets inserted into it and a lid that doesn't really stay stuck to the container that it's attached to. So it's kind of an annoying little thing. I, I wish you could just buy this for like half the price um, and you'll see why shortly because I'm going to have to do a lot of modifications to this to make it nice, you know. Anyways, but what you will get is this. You will also need to buy, it's dependent on caliber, but for the 9mm you will need to buy a 9mm Makarov full length sizing die. So this is basically the bottom half of that die and that gets screwed onto basically this piece and that is your full length bulge busting setup basically. So super simple to actually get it set up. You just take the die apart, you screw the top half off, there's a piece inside, an insert, you take that out. And then you just screw these two pieces together. Um, I was looking for the box for my 9mm Makarov die, but eh. anyway, this thing's all rusty and it, it needs a good scrub down and lubrication because it just sits outside in the workshop, you'll see now. Um, yeah, anyways, so without any further ado, let us get into the intro and then we can jump outside and I will show you how this works. So yeah, let's go. Okay, so we are back. Please just bear with the fact that this is a pretty active woodworking and kydex workshop. Yes, for those of you who didn't know, I uh, actually did make the pink holster from my shorts. Um, it's not the only holster I've made. But yeah, so basically what we will do is screw this die in and this little piece will also come with it. Uh, Reloading components are so prone to rusting. Please lubricate your reloading components. It's so annoying how they couldn't put even the slightest bit of rust protection into these things anyways. So we have that set up. So that is basically what everything is going to look like. You need to make sure that that goes all the way pretty much flush with the die. That way it will push your bullets through nicely. So I just wanted to show a close up here so that you could actually see how raised these are out of the block. So you'll see one there that's okay versus all the rest of these that aren't. But we're gonna fix that. That is why we are here. So let us get to it. Now I'm going to show you this just as I do it. Um, like I said, I actually want to modify this slightly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put basically masking tape around this section and I'm going to put masking tape around the join of the tub, which is in the center there, so that everything is just a better fit together. Um, and then, yeah, shouldn't actually have any of the issues that we end up having. So, let us begin. So basically, you're just going to pop around on the thing and just run it through. That is pretty much that. Um, <laughs> there is an extra step that, if you just give me a second, I forgot about. So... I shall return. 
Okay, sorry about that. We are back. And the part of the process that we forgot is lubricating the bullets. So, I don't even really worry about this being too perfect. I'm going to do it exactly as I do it. So, just give it a spritz, a spritz, little jiggle, spritz, spritz, jiggle, jiggle. That is literally all you've got to do. Um, I know with the uh, berries lube, it does say to let the alcohol and whatnot evaporate off, to be honest with you. I don't waste the time waiting. I just go straight to the pressing. And I do that whether I'm on camera or not. So, like I was saying before, everything I do on camera for you guys, I do normally. None of this is for show. None of this is... A gimmick or a this is my secret to the best ammo no this is just what I do and it seems to work okay for me um, you'll see we're gonna start running into a problem now there are bullets piling up within the tube there that you will see and if at any point they get jammed in that little slot your ah there we go Entire bulge buster will lift up. I hope you guys saw that and We didn't even make it through like 10 rounds and You've got to clear the tube put it back on and Keep going So I can say without lubricant this is practically impossible and even with lubricant there are some that are just so bulged that you just cannot get the bulge gone. It'll actually end up jamming in the die. There we go, we have our problem again. And I feel like that also wouldn't happen if this thing was tight on the die. Like basically it would just push the bullets up and the little tubby would stay on there. Um, but yeah, basically there are some cases that will just be so bulged that it'll jam in the machine. You will have to do all manner of insane things to try and get that casing out and then yeah once you manage that you can get back into bulge busting all of your rounds there we have our problem again so i mean this container as you guys could see it's practically worthless because you'll never fill the tub you'll never get it to a point where you need all this capacity so uh, that was a nice bulged one there um, yeah in theory most of this thing is just a waste of money you could just get the the die the adapter and uh, yeah but unfortunately when you buy the adapter it comes with the tub and fine it's only like 400 bucks so i'm not going to complain but anything that i've got to spend an hour modifying to get it to work properly that's not exactly ooh, my idea of a great product and you see i've gotten to the point where i can see when this thing is about to jam so we've got a couple more this was from a batch of about uh, 900 rounds so actually not too bad that we only got this many um, yeah not too bad that we only got this many but again this is a problem we are only having because uh, People shoot with firearms with unsupported chambers. Yeah. Then, to get your last round out, because there is still a round in there, I use Top Secret Super Hack cable tie. So, basically, bring the arm down, pop this up into the bottom, and there's our last round. So, those are all bulge busted, let's go back inside.
I just wanted to add the quick addition of the fact that when you perform the bulge busting process, it does actually stretch out the bra slightly. So number one, you do not want to use this in a Glock again. As far as I am aware, you do not bulge bust when reloading for Glocks. You just let that shit carry on, I guess. Because when you bulge bust, it will make your brass longer and at the sight of the bulge, thinner. So putting it in an unsupported chamber again can actually cause the casing to explode. So, or rupture, or tear, or whatever you want to call it. Explode is quite a graphic word. But in theory, it would explode. Um, the power would come out the back instead of coming out the front, which is not what you want in a bullet. So, yeah, don't be using bulge buster bullets in firearms with unsupported chambers. Um, also, bear in mind that when you do this on completed rounds, if you've got your length set, that will increase by from what I can see between a thousand to three thousandths of an inch, which you that's not really a big deal. But if you're loading right on the edge of what your chamber will support, you might then end up finding that these rounds do end up slightly too long. But as you saw from the block, they were perfectly flush, so we didn't have that issue. I sort of load in the middle between minimum and maximum overall length, so I won't really find any issues with that. I do recommend you guys do the same, obviously. But yeah, just wanted to add that in quickly. Okay, and we are back. If you see any marks on my shirt, yes, that is sweat. Um, bolt busting this many rounds did actually cause me to break a sweat. It's not the easiest process. You are literally force molding brass, so that's fun. Um, so let's get into the block test. Ping, ping. Must admit I hate the process, but you can't argue with the results. Like everything just goes absolutely perfect. Um, yeah. they, I mean, I literally can do this with absolutely every single one of them. It is going to be perfect. So, I mean, there we go. I feel like, okay, I might as well at this point do them all. There's only like three left. And there we go. Bulge busted, resized, and absolutely beautifully flush. Beautiful ammo. And then, if you want to see the final test, perfect. There's going to be no issues feeding, and there's certainly not going to be any issues extracting. So that was the bulge bust process, pretty simple, um, I thought I would just add in here at the end for anyone wondering why I have two plasters on my finger, I got bitten by a Vulpre packet, so uh, yeah, basically I was carrying one of those six, one and a half litre six pack water things and the strap broke basically at my finger, so whoops. Where it pulled apart, it basically just sliced right into my finger. So I've officially been hurt far more by a packet of water than I've ever been hurt by firearms. So if you ever need to tell people how safe firearms could be, you can tell them you know a trainer who's been injured more by a packet of water than he has been by any firearm. So, yeah. Glock Bulge Buster is going to be about 400 bucks. It also depends on the size. They can get a little bit more expensive for some of the bigger calibers, like the 45s, 40 s and etc. But, yeah, that is the process as I do it. And, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Finally, what I would do is just rub this off with a towel if you feel the need. 
Otherwise, just chuck these straight in your gun. It's not going to make any difference. Really, that tiny amount of lube is not going to make any issues to your firearm whatsoever. Um, if you feel like you need to wipe it off, wipe it off. I've seen both schools of thought of people who would never fire the round until it was wiped off and other people who fire much more expensive ammo through much more expensive firearms without taking off the uh, the tiny bit of lube that I put on there. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, if you've got more time, check out another one here on the side. And again, peace out.